You guys have probably noticed we've been doing a few more equipment reviews, things that will help you make unobtainable parts in your classic car, like gear knobs, like slider controls, everything like that. Well, Prusa has sent us this to review. This is the Prusa Core 1 3D printer. Now, hopefully this is gonna help us print off in 3D all those models and those 3D scans we've been doing. And I've sent some goodies. I'm liking this already, because I'm greeted with a packet of Arivo. Straight away we've got a handbook. I'm guessing this is gonna be the print bed. A box of PLA filament. Right, so we've got a spill plate, we've got a USB drive, cable, little tool kit, some lubrication. I'm guessing this is going to be the LCD screen. Now the screen is very easy to install because there is just two cables and then it just slots into the screw holes and pushes down. Right, don't forget your build plate because you cannot print on this surface. You have to have your build plate in. So on every one of these panels, including the front, which I've already peeled off, there is a protective film. Now they've popped a few of the rivets already in, but they do pull out and they've left the rest of them out. So they've sent us a bag of them. So now what we're gonna do is peel all them off and put them all down and put them all back in again. So this is going to live over on the workbench with the rest of the tools, equipment like this. Uh, but in the interest of science, once again, we're going to give it its first print right there.
Now that is a very good benchy. That was so easy as well. Nothing to it, just plugged it in, chose the thing, printed it. Absolutely superb. Right, let's print some out. <laughs> print some out. Now that is good. Now that's impressive because I literally, this is a bracket I modeled in uh, Fusion 360 last night. It's a little bracket I need for my shelf. I modeled it in 30 minutes in Fusion 3D, in Fusion 360, sorry, <laughs> last night. And I literally sent it straight from the modeling program straight to Prusa print and straight into the printer done. I just pressed print and that was it. Magnificent. Right, so we're now, this we're just, uh, just for testing. We don't leave things on this bench. So now we're going to load it to where it's going to live along with the other machines. Right, so that's where it's going to live, among the other equipment we use for creating custom interiors, exteriors, whatever. Let's have a quick look at the little goodies this enters. Now that was the original box of PLA, the one we've been actually printing with. In this box, they've sent us some PETG filament, some that's black, I think that's like a matte black. Uh, this is Petgy Prusa Orange. That's his fancy color here. Some Petgy Carbon Fiber. And some PC Blend Carbon Fiber. That's that box. Now in this box, this is a, um, a print sheet. This is the satin one. This is when we use uh, the carbon fiber filaments, I think. Don't quote me on it, but that's when we use them. So that's another print surface. This is a print head. This is for, again, the other high temperature filaments. And a Prosa cap, which we will be giving away in one of our next lives because I look terrible in caps. This is a really nice cap. I look rubbish in them. <coughs> Don't you think? And last but not least, a bag of Aribo that I'm going to be tucking into later. Thank you, Prusa. So if you want to know more about this machine, don't forget to tune into our next video where we'll be going a little bit more in depth into how to use it and what to use it for. Also, if you want to know more about this machine, don't forget to click in the link in our description below. And on that, we will see you in the next one.